Altamont General Store is a mixed-use market space. We're in Occidental. This area used to be like a mecca for hippies in the 60s, coming from all over, leaving San Francisco, starting communes all in this area. So there's just a rich history in this town with the ranchers, the hippies, the Italians. <laughs> the Italians. My family has been in this town running restaurants since probably the 30s. My great-grandfather came from Italy. He ended up settling here and opening up Negri's Restaurant, which is across the street. My grandmother still runs. We're both <laughs> Italian, so we just really like to feed people. Yeah, we have anxiety when people don't get enough food. <laughs> so when we started dreaming about, like, what do we need here? We wanted a community hub and being able to get a myriad of coffee options, a couple of great beers, a well-curated wine selection, and that food that really makes you feel good. I'm actually raised in Hawaii. I'm very vegetable and plant passionate. So we wanted to get vegetables and pickles and ferments into as many things as we can in a somewhat a sneaky way. The hot dog, we decided, let's take a classic and just make a banging hot dog. Right. I think the hot dog was probably my idea. <laughs> I was definitely my idea. Maybe it was like a collective unconscious <laughs> moment. The beef hot dog is spicy ketchup, a yuzu aioli, our house fermented kraut, our house pickled pineapple, crispy shallots, and pickled mustard seeds. Our dear, dear friend Tasha, she's really talented. She's from Russia. So pickling and fermenting things is just like in her DNA. We wanted crunch and pickle, and it's like an overloaded experience. How you doing? A big piece of what we were trying to do was be approachable plus and have things that people would maybe get out of their comfort zone to try. So having something like a hot dog is like a gateway. It's a gateway hot dog. <laughs> it's it what it is. <laughs> Into all the flavors. And yeah. when people try to order it and strip it down, I always am like, just try it in its whole form before you take away everything because <laughs> it's really good. I Yeah, the, the Altamont opened during pandemic and a lot of us in West County were looking forward to the Altamont opening because we had been just hearing about it and it's in a historic place. It really is bringing history to life in this place. It really is. And they have a little farm where the greens and the beautiful flowers that they use and some of the stuff that they pickle for even the hot dog, but also for the other dishes or salads are amazing too. Yeah. It's very local hyper-local, right? Well, um, I'm going to ask Gaia about your experience eating the beef hot dog. It was a really delicious experience. Um, upon first seeing like the beef hot dog on the menu, I was intrigued because normally I don't usually go for a beef hot dog, but after we got it, it was delicious. I really enjoyed the brightness of the pickles that were on top of it, and the crunch of the slaw was also really just a welcome texture. And the hot dog itself was nice and like salty and it had this really deep, like beefy, like undertone to it as well, which really just helped carry through all those like pickled aspects. It's all about the bun though, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. And the bun itself was super soft and like fluffy and it had a nice toast to it as well, which was cherry on top for me. <laughs> Fantastic. And Jewel, what about you? Did you enjoy the hot dog? Um, so I love hot dogs, hot dogs, like honestly, I would say my favorite's a Costco hot dog. And this <laughs> hot dog was so good. It was really delicious, the bun. That bun was so good. It was hearty. It kept everything in place. And I, I have to say, I didn't really like the pineapple so much just because I'm not really a sweet person when, I, when it comes to hot dogs. I'm pretty basic, like mustard and onions, but that hot dog is really well made. The bun was really good. It was really, I really enjoyed it. Gaia, was this a destination drive for you to get to the Altima? 
Um, my mom actually moved recently into Healdsburg. So me and her together, we had just embarked on this really nice long drive through the wine country. And when we got there, we're like, oh, wow, like this would be the perfect place to go pick up food for like a picnic. So I would, I would say it's definitely a destination and if you're ready to like go backpacking or enjoy the picnic somewhere. Right. So I ended up going to all the different shops and I have to say Occidental is one of the cutest little towns in California ever. All of the cashiers and the shop owners, they talk to us. I, I have all the cards. Like I, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing one of the shirts that I got from one of the, like, he is the new mascot for Occidental. Oh, I'm going back. I'm going back. I bought tarot cards. Who buys tarot cards? Like, come on. It was, it was amazing. It's really special. And I should mention that we moved a few years ago from Southern California. So we are in heaven here in this tiny little town and everyone is super friendly and there's amazing food too. And the space at the Altamont is also meant to be like a community space. Or Jewel, did you have dessert? Individual yeah, artists dessert. that can showcase yeah. their wares. Yeah. Right. And I would be remiss in not asking you about desserts. So everything there from the hot dog or the salads or the bowls um, are all just so beautiful. And then the desserts are always garnished with some something amazing, like a flower from their garden, or there's the mochi donuts, which have like a matcha green glaze, um, glaze over. Yeah. I mean, after the hot dog, I was kind of full and I wanted to explore the town, but I am 100% going back and I'm going to try every single dessert. <laughs> and Gaia, would you go back to this spot? I would. Um, I love hiking and I love the woods, so I would definitely go back and pick up some really tasty treats and really treat myself to like a nice day out. Yep. Yay, nay. Sorry, we're listening for the... Yay? Pretty close. Pretty close? Pretty close? 